In this video, I'm gonna give you four hacks to help you get approved for that personal loan with Navy Federal. If you watch this video to the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus hack with Navy Federal that you need to leverage when you apply for this loan. Now, Navy Federal have personal loans that go from 250 all the way up to $50,000 with no documentation, and you can get that loan within 24 hours. But in this video, I'm gonna share with one of these hacks on how you can get up $150,000 with a personal loan with Navy Federal. Now understand when you are getting these personal loans, if you wanna increase your credit score, one of the best ways to use these is to consolidate your debt and boom, you can increase your score by paying down those credit cards. And we're gonna jump into this information in this video. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. And this year we're showing you how to leverage your credit to make money. We are putting out content on business credit. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit your notification bell so you can be notified anytime your girl drop a new video. And at my website, I give you a free hard inquiry removal package because hard inquiries can get you denied for credit. I have other packages for purchase for your negative items. And I just rolled out my new elite credit system with my credit coaching and my AI software. And users like Sean is getting great results. He went from a 612 credit score all the way with all his scores over 750 within six months. And his one Equifax score is close to being 800 by just one point. So if you need my help with your credit, all these links is in the description of my video and in the pink comment section. So let's get in this first credit hack. Now keep in mind, you must be a member of Navy Federal to apply for this personal loan. And in order to be a member, you must be connected to the military. I did do a video on backdoor options that you can use to possibly become a member with Navy Federal. I'll leave that link of that video in the description and in the pinned comment section right here on this video. But understand with Navy Federal to be approved for this loan, they're gonna pull your TransUnion credit report using a FICO score nine. So if you want to increase your credit score to get approval using this first hack, which is using rent reporter accounts to improve your credit score, it will be equated in that FICO score nine TransUnion credit score. Now you can get this reporting done really quickly for you. If you use a service like Rental Karma, they'll report in three days as what they state on their actual website. And they even have a scale and where you can see what your score will be once it reports, dictating on your current credit score. Now with Rental Karma, they can report as far back as you've been living in your current unit. Meaning if you've been living there for 10 years, they can report that history back on your credit reports to help your credit score. Now understand with rental reporting accounts, they help two factors on your credit score which is very important payment history because it is the largest determining factor of your credit score and the third largest factor that determine your credit score is age of credit so it helps these two categories now they will report to equifax and transunion with rental karma but there is a second option of boom Boom can report your rents back for two years 
and they report to all three of the major credit bureaus. But unlike Rental Karma, they cannot report your whole rental history only two years back and you must have paid your rental payments out of a bank account for them to report those payments. So by using this option, you can increase your chances of getting a higher credit score and getting approved for that loan. Now, hack number two is direct deposits. So you want to set up for direct deposits. It will help show that you have income. You must be making money. So it will give them more assurance that you do have income coming in. And Navy Federal like that, that seeing those direct deposits is really positive with them. Now, another thing is going to help Navy Federal was hit with a lot of fraud from different CPN numbers. So they had to recently shut down a lot of accounts. So you won't look like a scammer account with having your direct deposits because it shows that you're a real person. That is the second hack that will help you get qualified and approved for that loan. The third hack is making sure on that application you're adding on your true household income because many people only add on their personal income alone. But if you have a spouse or a partner in that household or other income coming in by renting a room there, make sure you add it on that application. Understand that loans are decided on your DTI, debt to available income. So if you already know you got a number of debts, you need to make sure you up the proper income in your household so you can get approved for that loan. Now, here's the fourth hack. With Navy Federal, you can get more than that $50,000 on that personal loan by adding on a joint applicant. You can get a personal loan all the way up to $100 and fifty thousand dollars but in order for that to work for you you must both be a member of navy federal so if you have a spouse and you both are a member of navy federal you can go on that application together and get that hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan that it max out to but it will take two members in order to qualify for that amount. So this could be helpful if you and your spouse are trying to pay off a debt and you both are members of Navy Federal where you can max out on $150,000 for that loan. But with that larger amount, it will take some documentation most of the time to qualify, so just keep that in mind. Now, I even have a bonus tip that I was told by the customer service rep over the phone. If you are going for that personal loan and you want to go for an auto loan, if you actually apply for that personal loan and also apply for that auto loan right after that personal loan, you can see if you qualify for that auto loan as long as you do it within that 24 hour period after that personal loan without another hard inquiry. So if you are looking for a car, that might be the time to see if you want to do that application. Once you do that personal loan, so it won't be a hard inquiry. So I would suggest to make sure you do it over the phone once you do both of them and do it after that personal loan application and get one inquiry for both. Now that will not apply to any of the other products like credit cards or anything like that. It has to only be 
the auto loan. So if you're looking, that might be the great time to just try your hand to see if you qualify for that auto loan if you're going for this personal loan. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, drop it in the comment section. But if you have more detailed questions for me that's private, you can go to my website and submit your questions and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.